Hello friends, you've all heard of Cliff Almond, right? Well, this is Cliff Wong, baby. You know what I'm saying? Cliff Almond, you're done, baby. Next is Cliff Wong. Hi guys. <laughs> this is Cliff. He's a drummer here in Malaysia in Kuala Lumpur. And I just want to say hi to everyone with Cliff and have him maybe tell us a bit about the what it's like to be a drummer in Malaysia. Now you can sit there and I can I can interview you. We can talk while you're there on your on your baby. Oh, by the way, his dad was a owned a record shop, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. So this this collection is from from your dad and your and your dad inspired you to to be a drummer, yeah? Yep. Indeed, indeed. That's awesome, bro. So Tell us what it's like. What's it like to be a drummer here in Malaysia? Do do you play a lot of different styles? You play a lot. I think you're the you're the house drummer now for a, a popular jazz club in Kuala Lumpur. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. The venue is called Simply Jazz. And it's actually a Singapore-owned company, and uh -huh. KL is the branch of it. Oh, yeah, I see. It's, so it's another branch. So he's the the house drummer there. Yeah. If you go there, you're gonna see. Cliff playing uh, four nights a week. Yeah? Yes, from Wednesdays till Saturdays. Okay, Wednesday yeah. till Saturdays. Now, now, how common of a gig is that? Would you say, like, is that something that a lot of drummers get to do, or you're like one of the only guys that plays that much in Malaysia? Well, generally in KL, in KL itself, there are a bunch of venues around. And there's always opportunities to play around, actually. Wow. Yeah, I mean, like, I mean, if you check out like a few places, the ones that I can think of, like the Chao Team is one of them, Jazz Up 9. Uh, Great, yeah. I had no idea that that even yeah. existed out here. Yeah, so opportunities to play is actually a bunch in KL itself. Wow, mm -hmm. I didn't know. Basically that. More than in New York, probably. <laughs> That's great, man. And and you actually live in KL. Yep. That's mm -hmm. great. And um, you also teach at a, at a university. Yes. You told me, yeah? Yeah. And and how many students do you have at your university? Uh, it varies like per semester. So currently this semester I have 11 students, major students and minor students. Oh, that's great, man. Yep. So you can make a good living in KL with drumming. That's great. What would you say the majority of your playing is? It jazz at the moment? Yes, jazz at the moment. Well, because simply jazz, I'm the house drummer there. Mainly we're playing standards. Uh, standards and all and of course sometimes sneak a few pop music in and all you know and of course there's other styles of music sometimes we do play latin uh -huh. and yeah brazilian stuff about bossa oh, cool. yeah samba those kind nice, of stuff nice nice mm -hmm. do you get to play any britney spears tunes actually Just... wait let me think yeah yeah <laughs> you never know uh, no 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 britney, britney spears <laughs> no genie what's that what was that genie Christy, christina Aguilera. Oh, that's christina Aguilera. <laughs> sorry they all sound the same to me <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but the gang, there we go, baby. So, so Cliff, what, what would you say your some of your favorite drummers are? Man, so well, one is you. you oh, I didn't pay him to say that, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess well, there, there's so much. I mean, the current ones that I really love currently, I guess Bill Stewart, Karim oh, Zia, Mokhtar Samba. Mokhtar, yeah, yeah. great. Yeah, the ones that I can think of right now. And cool. yeah, of course, Wackel, Dave Wackel. Right, Vinny, right. Yeah, yeah all great. the cats, man. Yeah. The cats are you wicked, are you wicked, are you wicked, ubiquitous, baby. Everywhere in the world, every drummer, every great drummer knows, you know, about the cats. Mm -hmm. So I would say, what would I say about that? I would say that, the, you know, if you're a true craftsman, if you love drumming, that you can... You know, you can be all over the world and play play wherever you, you can play, mm -hmm. you know. If you're somebody who loves drums and dedicates your life to drumming, you can live anywhere, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's amazing, man. It's, it's, it's great. It's a, like great news, you know, because everything has changed so much in our industry. But you can make a decent living, live like a decent human being yep. as a drummer. Yep. Amazing, man. And and uh, we've been we've been, uh, by the way, checking out <laughs> material and and also <laughs> he didn't pirate it. You see, for you guys that pirated my shit, Cliff actually bought it. Like how many years ago? Oh man, I guess 
close to 12, yeah, 12, 11 12, years, 11 yeah. years ago. Mm -hmm. That's great, man. Yeah. So what else about, what, what drummers in Malaysia do you, do you like? Well, if you can check out, check out Steve Nanda. Mm -hmm. Steve Nanda is actually by far my f most favorite drummer in Malaysia. Yeah, he was actually one of my first mentors that taught oh. me how to yeah, oh. play and all. And of course, you gotta give it to this is young, young and up, young and upcoming drummer named Adriel Wong. Adriel Wong, check mm -hmm. him out as well. He's great, and I think he's a cannabis artist. Okay. Yeah, and a few more like can think of John Thomas. Yeah, John Thomas, you can check him out. Yeah, and okay, who else? <laughs> if you don't name more of your friends, they're going to be pissed off. I know, right? <laughs> That's the problem with these types of questions. <laughs> yeah. But no, I mean, you know, I think uh, it's good to know drummers from around the world. You know, mm -hmm. if, you get, if you get turned on to a drummer that, that you might like then in Malaysia, that's great. Yeah. You can have a friendship now because of the internet. You can reach out to them. I mean, that's how I met Cliff. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. we reached out on the, on the internet, got to know each other. Next thing you know, I'm in Malaysia at his practice room. Yep, indeed. <laughs> you know? <laughs> what the hell? What a great room. Yep, so inspiring to be in here. You got this whole massive record collection. You you listen to a lot of these, probably heard all of them, right? Well, yeah, pretty much. Pretty, pretty much. much. I yeah. mean, look at this. You got Billy Cobham, mm -hmm. classic here. And and LPs, too. Oh, Lenny White. Yep. Damn, man. You got a massive, really beautiful collection. Oh, Royer Ayers. I love this. Yep. <laughs> this record too is great. What a collection in here, man. Oh, okay. Where do? How come I know these guys? This German artist or what? I think so. Yep. Yeah, Enya, the Enya, Enya, the rec record company, probably German artist, man. That's <laughs> great. Oh, it's got some Crusaders. Great. That's so great, man. <laughs> so wow. And what's it like on logistically for you? Like, I think only drummers care about these questions, but what's it like? The like driving to the gigs in Kuala Lumpur. Oh. It's crazy. Well, um, no, it's crazy as New York. I'm just saying. Right, right. Yeah, New York's a nightmare. I mean, you can't even have a car in New York. You have to take the well, subway. I guess it's not too bad. I mean, for me, especially if I'm playing at Simply Jazz, it's it's pretty near. Yeah, it's oh, not, okay. it's not super distant or anything. Mm -hmm. like it takes about. 20 minutes to get there. Okay. Yeah, 15 okay. to 20 minutes. By yeah. car, you go, you yeah, go by, by car. car. By yeah. car, by car. Okay, mm -hmm. cool. Yeah. Public transport here is, is not super reliable. Really? But, but it's getting there. Yeah. Okay, mm -hmm. good. That's good to yeah. know. At these places, there's a lot of attendance, like people like jazz in, in Malaysia? Surprisingly, yes. Surprisingly, like, there are people that attend jazz shows and all. Oh, huh, that's great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Man, that's great. Yeah. And you have a you have guest artists on these di different people on different nights and stuff like that, or it's yes. just the house band. Uh, the house band, but a different different uh, singers, vocalists, artists. Oh, uh, okay, great. Mm -hmm. So what would you do if like Britney Spears came to sit in? Oh gosh, you got you got to talk to my boss, uh, <laughs> yeah, my employer, Michael Verapin. Yeah. He, he won't let her sit in, right? <laughs> He'll make her sing a standard. <laughs> right, right, sing a standard, Britney. Oh, I want to sing that. Sorry, Britney. Sorry, man. What else, bro? What else? Yeah. Oh, man. Is it hard to get drums in Malaysia? No, no, man. It's not. It's not really? hard. Yeah, it's not hard at all. They have yeah. proper distribution here of different... Yeah. Uh, I mean, okay, in, in KL itself, I think the most popular drum brands you're going you're gonna to find, one is Pearl. Mm. Tama is one of them. Yeah, there's a pretty... A lot of Ludwigs around as well. But I mean, not high tier Ludwigs, but you know, like like middle to lower tiers. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, drums are easier, easy to, to get. That's good yeah. news, man. Yeah. Some countries I've been to, it's really hard to find mm -hmm. drums. You know, they have maybe national brands. You did did say that Malaysia is coming up with a national brand now? No, 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 no. no oh, they no, don't no. have a yeah, national brand. They don't have. Oh. No one's okay. coming up with it or symbols or anything. Oh, oh yeah, we, we talked about Indonesia. Yeah. Mm -hmm. In Indonesia, there's a nas national brand coming yep. out. Mm -hmm. And these, what you're playing on here, is just, it's good for practice. Yeah, it is. Nice little jazz kit, yep. jazz sounding kit. <laughs> and you got your cowbell and stuff. Yep. So what else, man? What inspires you to keep going playing in Malaysia? What inspires me? Well, let's just say I just really love to play. That's it. Because I can't think of anything else to do than play drums. That's good. Yeah. Like that's that's the one of the keys. Like if you can't do anything else, then you're a lifer. <laughs> yep. And yeah, no plan B. Yeah. No plan B, baby. 
That's what Vinny said from the beginning. You have a plan B, you're going to do it. Because this shit is hard. Yeah. It's hard to, to keep it going and to do a lifetime of drumming. If you have a plan B, you're going to do it. So that's great, man. Mm -hmm. That's great. Yep. Reminds me of the joke about the three M's, which I'll tell you off camera. <laughs> you know that joke? I think I do. I yeah, think I do. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I won't tell it here because it's really bad, really bad. Well, folks, I'm very happy to be here with Cliff. And if you, maybe it's going to be on YouTube. So if you, if you have any questions for Cliff about playing in Malaysia or his life here as a drummer, uh, you know, just write the, in the comments. Um, we'll get Cliff to answer them for you. Yep. And uh, what else? You are, do you have a family? Yeah, I have a girlfriend and I have my parents here. Ah, yeah, okay. A sibling, yep. But you don't have kids or something? No, no, no. no. Okay. Not married. No, not not married, so he's a single guy supporting himself and his girlfriend. Not, <laughs> yeah. not a single guy. He's got, he's got a girlfriend which controls his life and <laughs> tells him what to play. That rides him like I'm changed. Just joking, girls. Don't get angry. Okay. Well, that's Cliff, my friends. I hope you enjoyed this little talk. We had a semi-interview with Cliff. Cliff Wong. Cliff Almond. You're finished, man. No more Michelle Camilo for you. Cliff Wong is coming in. All right, friends. We're in the car. We're in the car in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, with Cliff. Cliff. What's hey. happening? All right, I'm good. Yeah. <laughs> we are going today. We're going to a, like a vegetarian restaurant or something like yeah. that. Yeah, banana leaf. Okay. Yeah. So I told him I was vegetarian and he, he taken me to a special place. Neither one of us has had breakfast yet, so we're totally out of it. But oh man. But Cliff played last night, right? You had the gig last night? Yep, I did. And did you like it? Yeah, of course. I saw him yeah. play last night. <laughs> the best drummer in Malaysia, baby. Cliff Wong. Don't get it wrong, it's Wong. I'm, I'm delirious right now. So anyway, here we are. And we have, of course, yep. a little bit Tra of traffic. Traffic, which delays our eating time. Yeah, it's all right, we'll get there. We'll get there. Okay. So what's new, Cliff? What's new? Yeah, since last night. Well, nothing much, nothing new. The only <laughs> new thing is I'm picking you up and you know, like- to We're gonna hang. Lunch. Yeah, we're gonna hang and have lunch and all. A Great. Bit, a little bit starstruck, you know, like, oh my God, Phil's in KL. Like, oh. What a liar, <laughs> believable liar. He just wants to, he just wants to get stuff off me, Whoa. like free lunch and stuff. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> anyway, we are in this beautiful city of KL, and I'm having a great time. I'm, I'm just discovering the, the slowly the city, and I've been lucky enough to make friends with, with Cliff here, and he's taken me to, to his, his haunts, the, right the haunts, the places now. where he haunts right to eat right and hang out and stuff, so it's been great. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Seems to be pretty modern here, relatively modern. Roadways. I mean I guess I'm coming from Bali, so you know. In Bali in Bali it's very quaint and very still old world, which I which I love, you know. But here it's more like you're in Europe or somewhere. Lots of roads, trains, you know. Mm -hmm. And you have Cliff Wong. <laughs> yes, you have me indeed. <laughs> <laughs> you have me indeed, he says. <laughs> Cliff is telling me as a kid he was playing in punk rock cover bands, is that right? Yep, indeed. Man, it's really weird because uh, as a kid I was in punk rock bands as well. Oh. But I did it only for girls, I must admit. <laughs> I did it for the thrill. For the thrill? Oh, yeah, for the thrill. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And it worked for a while, but then when people started like throwing bottles out my, at my, on, on the stage and doing the whole spitting thing, and I said, no, man, that's enough. <laughs> can't, hang, can't, can't hang with this get, stuff getting on my drum set. <laughs> so that was the end of that. So I think we're around the SS2 area. So like there's always like a lot of shop lots and houses and stuff like that. Uh -huh. So basically, yeah. This is this is what it looks like around here. Yep. They call these shop lots? Yeah. 
Mm, housing see. shop lots. <laughs> Every time he starts to talk about something interesting, I have to get him on camera. Oh, We're talking about motorcycles. There doesn't seem to be as many motorcycles here in Malaysia, to me, as in Indonesia, I think, or other parts of Asia. In China, there's not that many, actually. <laughs> there's lots of motorcycles here. What do you call them? Well, I mean, like, if you have those, uh, what do you call it, like those racing, illegal racing oh, motorcyclists, yeah. Yeah. we call them mud rim bits. Mud rim bits? Yeah, mud rim bits. What the heck does that mean? Okay, I don't know how to exactly explain this. Okay. Yeah, but I guess it's just illegal racing, bike racing. Oh, okay. <laughs> illegal bike racing, that's what I'm all about, baby. I love me some illegal bike racing. Where are we? I think Wong, yeah. Wong is lost. No, no, we can. No? For parking. I'm trying to find parking. Hey, man, I'm, lo I'm really look looking forward to this. Uh, Please. Ah, Acha Curry. There it is. Acha curry. Okay, we gotta park. Yeah. Wong just told me that his girlfriend works in the food and in, in the chocolate industry. Yeah. And she deals a lot with chocolates and he asked me if I like chocolate. Man, I am the chocolate addict. <laughs> Let's see if she comes through with some chocolate for me. Oh she's not gonna charge me, right? <laughs> <laughs> this is supposed to be a really good restaurant has Indian vegetarian food really looking forward to this because the population from India here in Malaysia is very big although they are minority still pretty big comparatively all right here we go Hello. Hello. Hi. video. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Here we are. Table one. Looks great. Uh, banana leaves for mats. What's that? Oh. Cool. Very good. Vegetarian. Vegetarian. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh. I mean the shell. Oh, I see. They put it on the banana leaf. Oh. Uh, that's India. So they put the food on the banana leaves here. That's cool, man. Wow. Now I see everybody's got the banana leaf plate. Wow. Very good. Look, look out. Look how organized Wong is. It was out of place, so he had to move my banana leaf plate. Wow. Very good, thank you. Very good. Oh. Right. So this is you take your own vegetables. Okay. What's this? That's a fried bitter god. Fried what? Bitter god. Bitter god. Oh, I don't know what that is. Try We're gonna have to, I don't know what that is. We're gonna have to try it. Oh. What's that? Tea? Yeah. Hot tea? Yeah. Oh. Wong likes the hot tea on a, on a hot day. So this is bitter something. Bitter one. Okay, you take vegetables and you just. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. This is cucumbers and stuff. This, what's this? Uh, pumpkin. Oh, pumpkin. Uh, that's my girlfriend. Oh, okay. Yeah. She's Hi. here. Hi, we have the on video. We have we have to have you on video. Alright, no worries. <laughs> You brought the chocolate. Yes. Oh, you're so great. Thank you so much. It's just something small. Oh, that's so nice of you. She got me the chocolate, baby. Okay, this is my concoction so far. Oh, Wong's got it down. 
the rice. Okay, the next step, they put in curry. What happened? Why are they taking the curry? Oh, what? I didn't put enough curry on yet. Yeah. <laughs> hang on, hang on. <laughs> it's spicy. Huh? Yeah, no, that's cool. I'm gonna try the. This is crab. Crab curry. Uh, fish curry. I'll, I'll try it. I'll try in each section different curry. That was okay. There goes the curry. Chow curry. <laughs> Looking good. Looking good. Hey, what were you saying about the traditional way? You should join him and eat with the hands. Oh, eat with the hands, right. The local way. The local way. Yep. I, I like it. I, I, I you know, lived in India for a while and I I can never get used to it because just my hands get all... Yeah. Oh, she thought I said Coca-Cola. Yeah. Oh, ha ha ha. Sorry, they took away the onion curry too fast. Do you want the onion curry? No, no. Okay, dal? Onion curry, dal curry. Oh, dal is good. Dal is good. I don't think I've tried onion curry. Try the dal curry first. Thank you. Love it. I love I love Indian food. Yay! And your chocolate is here. That's fish. Fish. Alright. That's all I got. <laughs> So friends, apparently when you're done, you, have, you should fold the banana leaf towards you like this. That means you're going to come back, right? You're satisfied with your meal. Satisfied with your meal. If you flip it the other way, it means you're never coming back to the restaurant. Insulting. So I'm glad, I'm glad you pointed that out. I'd be in trouble. No, you won't be. Like, no? Yeah. Especially for foreigners. Oh, okay. Just call me a foreigner. They'll, they'll find you in a all right, right. Okay, guys. I'm going to try the chocolate I got as my gift from Cliff's girl. You know, Cliff didn't tell me your name yet. Oh, and Kelly. Kelly. Yeah. How rude, Cliff. How rude. <laughs> this is coffee dark yeah. ingredients. Coffee. <laughs> Ooh, let's see. But she specializes in this type of chocolate. Oh my god, it looks good. Has chocolate chips. Uh, those are coffee nibs. Oh, coffee. Yeah. Coffee yeah. chips. Yeah. Oh my god. Let's see. Mm. I love chocolate. See you later. Bye bye. <laughs> We're out of here. See you later. You're a lucky guy, Wong. Indeed I am. Yeah. I am very lucky. To have a good girl like that is a very, very special thing. We are done with lunch, and now we had a coffee, and now we are on our way to Chops Drum School. In Nampang. Nampang, baby. That's where we're going. I have no idea where we are or where we're going. <laughs> totally lost. <laughs> Thank goodness Cliff Wong is here. Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> We get to see all of this without connections from Drummond.
how can you possibly see like the real parts of the city if you're if you're not a musician you don't have like connections in the drumming community and the music community and guys like local guys that take you I guess you if you have local friends and you're not a musician I guess that also works but on a global global scale you're traveling all the time you can't have friends in every every city in the world but as a musician you certainly can you know, so many musicians to meet like Cliff <laughs> We have made it to the Chops Music School area here. Cliff's driving was amazing. He didn't get lost one time, only twice. <laughs> it's got, starting to rain. It's starting to rain. And we just gotta walk up to the school here, it's not far. And we got lucky because we found a parking space right as we turned onto this street. Well, look at this street. It's like at a standstill, basically. I'm excited to see the school and we're gonna, we're gonna have a good time here. And here we are, Chops. Chops Music School. Right, let's go up. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Take off our shoes. Hello. Hi. Hey, hey, how are you? Good man. What's up, man? How are you? I'm Great to sorry, meet you. Up you to pick up no, no problem. It's just, hey, it's wet you? outside anyway. Welcome. Uh, how Thank you. Treating you. Very, very great, man. Oh, very right. I'm so happy to be here with you guys. Hi. Maturano. Maturano. There you go. All right. All right. Very good pronunciation. <laughs> great. Uh, do you know here. Ron. Yeah, Ron. He's coming for a workshop. Oh, hey. Yeah. Nice to meet you, man. Nelson, great to meet you. Yeah. He's got a gig, so he's not coming. Yeah. You can, you're not coming to the workshop? No, I'm not sure. Oh, yeah. man. Sorry, I'm not coming. Uh, I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I see, I see. <laughs> All right, well, here we are. Thank you very much. Uh, we haven't set up because I got puzzles today. So once puzzles finish, I get like I have to run the room and everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's have a look here. So it's going to be here. Uh, oh, of course, cool. we're going to rearrange everything and put the chairs all up. Okay, sure. Yeah. Look at this place. Very good. Chops Music School, baby. We are here. We're going to have a good time. Yeah. yeah you mentioned the practice plan. I'm like, wow, it's uh, going to be tight. Yeah. <laughs> all that. It, could, it could be done, but maybe with a bit more time, I could, do it. I could arrange it. But sure. Yeah. No problem. All right. My man here. We're, we're in. We came over to his pad now. Hi. I just want to show you this amazing room. Be prepared to be blown away. Oh my God, look at this. What the heck? In his, in his apartment, in his apartment, he's got this whole set, uh, incredible amount of uh, beautiful snare drums on this wall. You, you wonder why there's a snare drum shortage it's because he took them all. Oh, no, 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 no. I, I, know, I know more psycho people out there. <laughs> yeah, trust me, I, I know. I know yeah, worse, right? Worse, uh, yeah. People who collect even more snare drums. Yeah. That that is is awesome. Kelly, you'd be surprised. I know a few other guys who weigh, I think, more than. Really? More than this. Really? Yeah, yeah, especially in KL. Damn. In KL? Really? Man, I thought I was a drum nerd. Well, it's hard to have, you know, drums stored anywhere for me. Yeah. because I'm traveling, but I have, a, <laughs> I have a kit in Germany, in New York, in South America, and in Italy. But you got all your stuff right there, all in one room. I'm a hoarder. <laughs> <laughs> you want something to drink? Water or something? I'm okay, I'm okay, thanks. Japan. Wow. Yeah, you so got this in Japan? Yeah, in Tokyo. Yeah. Oh, to Tokyo, if you go to Japan, their are, are used skier market is excellent you should really? just walk around yeah and the condition is great I mean, well, they right? keep yeah. their stuff very well right. Japanese uh. right, I, right. I figured because 
uh, you know, Japanese, they have very um, limited time. So when they pick a hobby, they really do it full blown. So they really? do drums, they really go into it like full blown. And then they don't have space to keep stuff. So once they right. upgrade, they just trade in. Mm-hmm. And their stuff is kept really well. So you go it's like, oh, dude, mad bro. Like, 70, 60 luck weeks. Mm-hmm. You know, we have like 1,000, 5 ringgit, 4 wow, ringgit. Wait, that's, uh, that's you can go mad, right? go nuts. Yeah. So I was like, oh, we're trying, we're trying, we're trying, you know? <laughs> 1,000 yeah. ringgit, so how many dollars is that? Like? Uh, $180, How much? Yeah, Two hundred dollars. Right. Oh my God, yeah. that's amazing. So it's just limited by my, my, my hand carry lah. Of course, <laughs> my credit card limit lah. You know. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, so, man. So like some stuff, you go to Japan, like, you you have to go on, bro. You really have to go, and then just set aside about two thousand ringgit, you can get two stuff, two mm. one stand. They got a lot of stuff, on, bro. Especially like you know, first things. Like, mm. uh, I got this one in Japan as well. The same trip, also about thousand ringgit. Something like that. It's a very funky one. It's like a Gabriel yeah. drum. It's made in Athens. Oh. Yeah, something oh. like really, really unusual. Uh. Yeah. yeah. So I looked them up. I was like, oh, handmade in Athens. They do everything in house. And then it's, oh, it's in Tokyo. Why? Oh, the drummer went to Athens and he traded in for something else. You know, the story is the same. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Uh, and it's like super mean condition. Uh. Yeah. yeah. What do you got here? Your pearl kit. Uh, this is a pearl reference. Um, I had this kit mm-hmm. since I was in high school. Uh. But, but not because I bought it all in high school. It's impossible. Uh. Yeah, uh, this this uh, these drums actually if you look closely um, the color is a little bit different although they're the same color code but they're a bit under like the sun you can see it's a bit mm. off one uh. you want one by one, yeah, one, by one I see, I see. Uh, so I got the snare first mm. then the 16 the 22 so it took me about eight years to gather the whole kit together oh. no kidding yeah eight years to get this whole kit together yeah. Yeah. I mean I didn't have 30,000, yeah. you know, to <laughs> blow right at one moment. <laughs> so I had to, <laughs> one I had to by one. one by one, get used once or find it online or, you know. Right. Yeah. Well, that's the thing about cats in different countries, man. They have a totally different experience finding drums. Yeah, we 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 are we should be grateful we get a kit so fast you know buy all in one shot. Right? Uh, the first generation, the uh, Taiwanese one. Uh, the prior one was the full masters. That was the uh, sorry, masters. It was the Japanese one. That was mm. like really really rare to find. Like. Mm. But I wanted the reference. Ever since I was like, oh, reference. Ever since Danny Chamber did the yeah. thing, I was like, oh, I got to get the drum set. Like. Then I went to check the the price tag now. It's just impossible. what happens when you're a drum junkie. <laughs> <laughs> drum junkie right here. Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so I have, yeah, I have a, a, some OCD one. If I get one piece, I must get the whole kit. <laughs> <laughs> you know, actually, I've been, I'm still searching for 18 for this kit. Oh, 18 years? Bass drum. Uh, bass drum, 18. This, this reference series and uh, the color. Why? Impossible to find. Why do you want it? Um, because I want to carry the reference out sometimes. He's a, he's a collector. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to give myself excuses to buy stuff. Like. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, my wife understands that fully. That's Ooh. bullshit, but she accepts it. Like. <laughs> we're we're going to have to make a meme from you, man. A meme, a meme out of you. You've seen those memes where yeah. my wife understands because I have another snare drum and she gets mad if you... Oh, there's no. a lot of memes circulating like that. We have to I, make I think, one. I think my wife... Uh, she, she understands she married a living meme la. <laughs> <laughs> All my reasons are them stupid And then she's just like Ah, right, okay <laughs> But she's very supportive la. She, That's she, great. she doesn't stop me on like As long as I pay the bills on time Everything right. else doesn't matter la. Okay. Okay. There's no children yet So That's good It's, it's okay la. Once you've got children It's a different story yeah. Yeah. Sure, yeah. it's over All this shit is going to sell uh, <laughs> no, no. Yeah <laughs> Children You're going to have to sell All this stuff goodbye, baby yeah. It's gonna be a nursery room. Not, nah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll lock this door, man. I'll lock this door, man. <laughs> now I'm noticing at the end of the sentences, you have to say la, right? Yeah. And when really he, when you talk, that, yeah, when you talk and yeah, you say la. my girlfriend, him, we were teaching how to say la yeah. and all. Yeah. Uh, don't, don't force it, it's very unnatural. Really? Yeah. Yeah, don't bother. And if you remember Tony Fucker? Oh, yeah. Man, that guy is so funny, man. Uh, he goes like, Hey brother, let's go for a drink la, hey please. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then um, I don't know this story like maybe you need to cut this sense out because he was like, hey, bro, hey, you can't man, what, what, what do you say? Can't, can't. I mean, you, you guys always type can't inside your messages. No, we don't. So what, what, what do you mean? We don't say that. We, nobody says that. No, this so is so is so uh, it's offensive. It's very yeah to call someone can't and yeah. whatever can't. I was like. What's then, a cunt? Then I say actually it's Chun bro. It's C-H-U-N. Oh. Then he's like, what's cunt? Cunt, C-U-N, C-U-N. I was like, yo dude! So how many people have this American friend of ours? Oh, I see. It's uh, Chun. Chun, Chun. Chun, Chun. Chun, Chun. 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 Chun.
No, what are you trying? What? No. C H U N. Chun. C U N. The short form is yeah, Chun. Yeah. C U N. Ah, C U C U N Chun. His pronunciation of the reading is just S H. I was like, yo, dude, no. Be careful with languages. Don't, don't, simply, bro. Yeah, he also want to go. Man, you are a drum enthusiast, bro. Big time. I love yeah. it. I love to see this. I love to that he, you're he so. Meet, you know, Yon, right? Have you met Yon yet? Yon Paulson. Oh, oh yeah, Yon. That yeah. guy is mad. Oh, bro. that guy is worse. Guy yeah. Worse, really? Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, we have to meet him. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. He's gonna lock the drum room yeah, yeah. now. <laughs> we had a heck of a day, man. In the yep. Great day. It's been raining off and on pretty hard. But uh, we had a great day, great food, great coffee, great hang. And now Cliff has to go to work. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> go to play. Yeah. Who knows if I'll drop by and see him again tonight. Let's see. And uh, yeah, I have to start editing like crazy. Cliff, what is your feeling on the state of jazz in Malaysia? It's growing. Yeah, it's growing. Slowly growing. Are there many yeah. players out here? Well, uh, I would say there are many players that are very interested in jazz. Mm. They're interested in learning and all. Mm. Yeah. But, you know, jazz in, in Malaysia or in KL in general is actually really small. Right. Yeah. But it is growing, you know, growing in terms of like uh, people getting interested, right. kids, students, and we have uh, festivals going on like uh, every year. There's this thing called the Malaysian Piano Jazz Festival. Oh, not kidding. Yeah. Oh. So it's like to, to get people interested in jazz. You know? Right. Yeah. So, so it's still growing. It's great. So that's the good thing about it. It's consistent. Yeah. That's great, man. Maybe I'll be interested in jazz too in Malaysia. <laughs>